A popular series on our channel over the years has been our useful website series. I've become aware that we didn't make a video last year to rectify that we promised to make more useful websites videos in the future coming up. With many new viewers to our channel, I'll show you our absolute favorites, let's get started. Virus Total is perhaps one of the most useful websites ever created. It's a free service using more than 70 security scanners and URL domain block listing services to detect viruses, malware and other types of malicious content. No single antivirus or anti-malware software is perfect, so I encourage you to bookmark Virus Total as an extra layer of protection. You have the option to scan a file on your computer the URL of a website, and the search tab lets you scan a URL IP address, domain or file hash file and URL to that you'll likely use most often to check a file on your computer. If you're like us and support the right to repair movement, I fix it as your friend and short right to repair advocates that you should be able to repair anything yourself or someone of your choosing and have easy access to the parts tools and diagrams. I think that sells both tools and parts and is free step-by-step -step repair guides. You can enter your product into the search box or select explore categories. As you can see, there are several categories to choose from. Select your category Pixlr is a photo editor that lets you edit images in your favorite browser without the need to install any software. It's easy to use and great for those of you that don't want to learn a program like Photoshop or GIMP. Best of all, you can use most of the key features for free. It includes 1000 seconds of free templates that you can use for resumes, presentations, brochures, and even includes templates to create a YouTube banner. With a single click, there's even a background removal tool to easily erase backgrounds from your pictures. Pixlr has two separate web apps to choose from Pixlr X and Pixlr Pixlr X is for those of you that just want to quickly edit your photos with the absolute basics. There are tools to add text crop and rotate and you can easily add effects to enhance your image Pixlr is for those of you wanting more advanced tools not found in Pixlr X for those willing to put in the top Pixlr is what you'll want to use if you're trying to create the perfect image. Most people don't read terms and service agreements we just click agree and move on. The website terms of service didn't read does the difficult work of analyzing and summarizing the terms and services and privacy policies of websites and services on the internet. After being analyzed, the terms of service are assigned a grade within a grade having the best terms of service and on the opposite end, and a grade being the worst but the terms of service raising very serious concern. On their homepage you'll see a summary of the terms of service and a grade assigned to some of the most well-known companies. For example, it's no surprise Facebook and Amazon are given an E-grade. In their search box you can do a search of any website or service in their database. As expected, DuckDuckGo has a fantastic terms of service and is given an A-gray. Let's not pull up a summary of the terms of service when signing up for any service with Apple with any gray. It's quite obvious that Apple's marketing does not match reality. And in fairness, Microsoft and Google are no better ending the segment on a positive note. There's a bipartisan bill that's been introduced that would help to simplify the language used in the terms of service agreement. Websites and services would also have to include a summary statement for users without all the legal jargon. In addition, that summary statement would also have to disclose data breaches with that website or service from the last three years down detector is a site I keep bookmarked for those times to check a particular service like my cable company, cell provider streaming service or any other online service to find out if they're having an outage or some other problem. Hughes does enter the name of the service in the search box, I'll go with Xbox line. At the top of the page, you'll see the status which in this case indicates there are no current problems. Below that is a graph of reported issues over the last 24 hours looks like yesterday is a bad day. If you scroll down, there's a live outage map that you can click into. To the right of that you can see the most reported problems and if you scroll down a little bit more, you can view the comments from other users. Thanks for watching, links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What website do you use that you think would be helpful to others? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and hit the bell for more useful websites and other tech related stuff here on Nafi Tech.